in a horrifying cycle of abuse lasting 10 years, a French man has been accused of drugging his wife and filming at least 83 aggressors raping her. The allegations have been leveled against the man by French authorities. It is believed that Dominique P. recruited the people who assaulted his wife from a website called Without Her Knowing, a forum in which members discuss carrying out sexual activities on partners who are unaware of their intentions, and preserving proof on a USB drive in a file named Abuses. Investigators found 92 separate instances of rape between 2011 and 2020. 51 individuals, ranging in age from 26 to 73, have been identified and charged with raping his wife of 50 years, who goes by the alias Francoise. It is reported that the husband drugged his wife with lorazepam and hid it in her food before inviting other men to have sex with her while she was asleep at their house in Mazan, which is close to Avignon. The incident allegedly took place at their residence in Mazan. After detaining Dominique in 2020 for photographing up the skirts of customers at a supermarket in neighboring Carpentras, investigators discovered the misery. A check of his Provence house uncovered camera equipment as well as dozens of tapes of his wife's torture. A forum on the internet known as A Sun In Su, which translates to without him slash her knowing was used by Dominique to organize the assault on his wife while she was asleep. The investigators have found 92 instances of Francoise being raped and have compiled a list of 83 aggressors, but they have not been able to determine the identities of all of the alleged attackers. There is a firefighter, a municipal counselor, a jail guard, a nurse, and a journalist among the people who have been accused. In the year 2021, it was stated that a total of 33 had been imprisoned up to that point, with nine being held in custody. At the time, Louis Alain Le Maire, a lawyer for some of the accused, stated that some of the suspects thought the wife was simulating being unconscious as part of a sex game. Because the husband claimed to have informed the suspects before each incidence of abuse, the investigators reasoned that the suspects must have known the wife was drugged because he briefed them. The alleged attacks took place between the years 2011 and 2020, and according to the prosecution, Dominique argues that none of the accused assailants gave up going through with sexual acts on his wife given her state. These allegations come from the prosecution. They claim that Dominique never used violence or threats to guarantee that the rapes took place, and they further state that each individual had his free will to stop these acts and leave. It is believed that at least some of the sexual predators visited the residence on many occasions. Many people claim that they were unaware that Francoise had not given her permission for the interactions to take place. Allegedly, guests were requested to park their vehicles some distance away from the house and to refrain from introducing strong odors inside the residence, such as cigarettes or perfume, which may potentially wake the homeowner. One of them is claimed to have denied rape and remarked something along the lines of, it's his wife, he does what he likes with her. A preliminary inquiry into Dominique was conducted by the police in the year 2020 after he was accused of deploying a concealed camera to watch ladies changing their clothes in the supermarket. During this investigation, the police became aware of the tapes. A trial is expected to take place next year. For the alleged offenses, Dominique faces a possible prison sentence of up to 20 years. Francoise, who only found out about the attacks after the police discovered the recordings, said that she had gynecological difficulties, regular weariness, and absent-mindedness as a result of the assaults. In addition, it was discovered during her medical checks that she was afflicted with four different sexually transmitted diseases. It is said that she struggled with depression in the aftermath of the assaults and that she has subsequently filed for divorce as a result. However, Dominique informed the investigating judges that he loves his saint's wife very much. Francoise was his first love, indeed the only love of his life.